Hello, we're live, we're live. Oh, honestly, the, the amount of times I jump on lives and go, oh my God, what is my hair doing? Ah, anyway, good evening, Trips, how are we? Um, Sorry, I need to move my wee thing here. Right, so, girls, if you're here live, catch me live, give me a hashtag live in the comments, you know the drill. And if you're catching on replay, give me a hashtag replay in the comments box. So, how are you all? I hope you're having a tremendous week. Tremendous. Um, drop your wins below if you have any wins for us, share them. Um, I'll share mine. I have got two wins actually. We have had an incredible, we have an incredible bunch of ladies joining us from our recent scholarship opportunity and I'm so happy, so happy um, to be working with the ladies that we're going to be working with. Um, what else is a win? I had a couple of days off um, where I sat in a hot tub and went on nice forest walks overlooking Loch Long, which is that way. It's up north a little bit. And it's just been an all-round tremendous November thus far. And it's getting, it's just going to get better and better. Um, and tonight, Clara very kindly shared with you all, I'm doing my first foray into a bigger like life coaching practice tonight in our EMW client group tonight. So I'm very much excited for that. Um, so, yeah, pop your ones below. Not seeing any ones. Not seeing any comments. Is it just me that's not seen them? If you're putting hashtag live... I don't know why. I can see people waving at me. But I can't see any comments. So, tonight, every year, every year, there are always trends that are coming through in all industries. It's not just our industry, but in all industries. But in health and wellness, it's um, it's very, very changeable. I've, and over the past couple of years, it's we've we've had to move very quickly um given the, the state the state of the nation state of the the covid situation and whatnot and it's it's really really interesting well this stuff really really interests me um because obviously as a business owner and as a coach it is imperative that we stay ahead of the curve and be able to offer people what they need and also be able to offer people what they don't know yet don't yet know that they need um and that is one of the parts and parcels of of what we do here so going into trends so a lot of the trends aren't new they are just going to become more elevated and it's it's really interesting and there's loads of different um websites that you can go on for your own research if you want i tend to look at things like um McKinsey Consultancy, what was the other one that I was really into? Healthline. And also looking at things like examine to see where past what has happened in the past. Obviously, so we can look at future um trends as well. So there's what is coming through in health and wellness and weight loss that all combines under health and wellness is the actual fact that there is going to be more of a focus on health and wellness rather than weight loss or fitness or just solely nutrition and people are going to demand personalization consumers are going to be focused more on what going to, what is going to work for them first time and it's going to become more of a whole person approach rather than just a commodity and I was just talking to one of our, our new clients about this that five years ago 10 years ago in the US five years ago in the UK fitness health wellness has always been seen as a commodity it's just it's you know it's like buying bread or milk but over the last five years here in the UK it has become more of an experience a development a culture if you like, and that is going to continue to grow. Um, so consumers will demand more personalisation 
um, but also will demand more of a focus on natural, eco slash clean products from their, whether that is in terms of uh, makeup, cosmetics, beauty products and nutrition as well. And although we've seen a, a huge rise in plant-based eating over the last few years, that will continue, but it will be less focused on plant-based uh, and no animal products because of um, animal well welfare, but it'll be more about sustainability. So there'll be more focus on an individual level on, you know, looking at things like, do they contain palm oil? Is the packaging um, recyclable? Is this product actually good for me? Because one of the things, like a lot of people have gone, with blinkers, plant-based, 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 but in actual fact, what they're putting into their body isn't actually doing them any good because a lot of the plant-based products are actually very chemicalized, um, not close to source at all. So ethical farming is gonna play a big part. Um, <coughs> for those of you who are Scottish slash from this region that I live in, um, there's a local dairy to us that do calf to cow um, dairy farming, i.e. so in dairy farming, calves get taken away from their mums at a very young age, so the mums can go back to pumping milk and they get put in the, the barn and mm. strapped up and milked. Um, but they have been doing keeping the calf at cow for much, much longer and the quality of the milk is much, much better. They produce less milk, but it's much higher quality and it's in Scotland, by law, we must pasteurise our dairy products. That means treating them at high heat. And they do a more, a lower heat so that it's retaining a lot of the nutrients. I don't think in England you have to do that. I think in England you can actually go and buy raw milk. and um, We can't do that here in Scotland. Anyway, so ethical farming, plant-based eating, sustainability, clean slash natural uh, products. Um, one of the big trends, and I've started to see a shift in this over the last two years, I would say, um, is around people, consumers, will be managing their health more proactively at home. Um, sorry, I need to get comfortable. I'm not comfy. Uh, anybody else is just loving cardigan season again? It's amazing. Um, yeah, health management at home. So people will be looking at using doctors and health professionals as a last resort or as and when necessary. So what I mean by this is that they will be utilising, being very proactive in their health, so monitoring, uh, getting blood tests done proactively through a private company. Um, you'll see them advertise on Facebook, you know, you've got Thriva, you've got Home Health, you've got loads and loads and loads. Um, people will be tracking things like blood pressure at home, Already, I know in our client group alone, I'm certainly one of them as well, that using advanced tracking tools, like I use an Aura Ring. Um, a few girls use Whoop Bands, which are very are advanced tracking tools. They track things like your sleep, your heart rate variability, your temperature, rest and heart rate, restlessness of sleep, and a higher stress level. Some of them are going down the route of being able to um, monitor temperature so they can predict menstrual cycles, etc, etc. Um, there's been studies shown on some of the, the temperature tracking ones that have been able to identify when people are have got COVID, um, which is very, very interesting. But that means that, that we're going to be more aware of our overall health factors at all times and start getting a little bit more um, educated around our own health. Now, this is very different from being a Google doctor and typing in your symptoms to Google and going, right, that's it, I've got this. You know, it is going to be very personalised. Um, and it means there's a lot of organisations. So if you work in the private sector, a lot of you probably have private health insurance. And one of the trends is that is going to be more, you see quite a lot of vitality um, they do they are very proactive on health so you know going for checks going for annual blood tests and whatnot and if you are doing they've been very proactive you get discounts on your your life insurance or your critical illness so people in industry if you have got private health insurance have a look at your provider and what are they doing and some actually give you rewards and added incentives like 
additional payments to other things and stuff like that. So have a wee look. Um, and that is certainly one of the big trends. Um, it's also when we are looking at female health in particular, being able to manage our own health and awareness around our bodies and our hormones is going to be a much bigger focus now already. This year, I think a lot of us have been, uh, has seen a lot in the media about menopause, perimenopause and the things that employers can do, the things that we can do to help ourselves. And that is going to continue, but there is going to be a bigger focus on recovery, recovery as a as a bucket for women um, and that means we will be paying closer attention to our cycles, um, to symptom, sorry I don't like to use symptoms as perimenopause because it's not an illness but effects of perimenopause on us and that means we have to look at overall picture of recovery and that means looking at things like our sleep quality, our sleep quantity, our heart rate under rest, our heart rate under stress. Um, our overall readiness and that can that's going to start becoming as important as volume of steps or things like um, calories burned. So they are very normal things to see on a Garmin or a, a Fitbit or something like that but we will be paying more attention to our hormone cycles. Um, longer term these bad boys here this aura ring whip band there's also a big marketplace in things for your mattress so they can keep you cool but it also has sensors in to manage your sleep and to tell and give you a report at the day saying oh you were rolling about your bed between one and two and you were sweaty and you were warm and da, da, da. and it adjusts everything to your temperature etc for what you specifically need but over the longer term, probably not this year, but your, your trackers, your mattress sensors, they're going to talk to your programming. So say you have a Peloton, for example, they're going to talk to your Peloton and tell you what your training needs are for that day. Um, I can't show you what, what this does, but on mine, and when I open up in the morning, it says, right, this was your day yesterday, this is your sleep. So today we recommend that you can either, you know, you can push the intensity of your workout or you should dial it back a little bit and have a, a rest day um, and it is really really interesting they're going to be become the norm. Um, in terms of, <coughs> excuse me, looking at things like how do people do things, so digital coaching online etc is going to continue to grow, um, it has blown up exponentially over the last two years for obvious reasons and it is going to be to the detriment of coaching in physical locations. Now gyms, gyms as an entity, they're still going to be there, they absolutely are. We're likely going to see less um, global gyms, so less things like your pure gym, like your gym group, but we will see more personalised, maybe PT studios or small group training areas, um, more personalised and exclusive offerings that maybe cost a little bit more than your $16.99 a month, but they are going to be given solutions that are designed for the individual, which plays back into the consumers will demand personalisation trend. Um, obviously, there is still going to be a requirement for budget gyms, for global gyms, budget gyms, absolutely. They are not going to go away, but they are going to become less of the norm. Um, but people will be, and there still will be a requirement for in-person personal trainers, but it's going to be easier and more accessible to have your coaching handled by somebody that is not in your physical location, just purely because of that ease of use. Um, and the flexibility, you know, trying to get, you know, everybody wants a PT at six o'clock in the morning or at five o'clock at night. And there is so many hours in the day, both myself and I'm just thinking, Kat, know this, that we've got to have, you know, these time slots get taken really quickly and then you're just, you've, you've, there's no availability for the rest of the day. So that's where the online piece comes in. Um, coaching in terms of, so not just in fat loss or fitness but if we think higher level than that you know 
overall health coaching, self-development coaching, mindset coaching. This is going to become the norm. Um, and although in today's world, a lot of people see it as a, as a luxury, it's an accessible luxury. Um, and it's going to become the norm. Women will value more quality time for themselves or quality time with their family or quality time with their friends. So they will look to use specialists to take away, you know, how do I do this type queries? And that just that doesn't just mean in that health development mindset space, it means in the home as well. So things like um, having somebody to come in and help with ironing or help with the cleaning or, you know, don't know, wash the curtains, all the things that take up time and it's not fun time that when we do it, you know, who actually, look, I know there's some weirdos out there that love housework, weirdos, um, I don't and I would much rather use that time to do something more productive and that's where people are going to start valuing their own time much, much, much more, rather being there for everybody all the time. Um, one thing that I did notice, and I actually noticed this on three weeks ago, was it? Three weeks when I did the deep dive into diets, about things like Weight Watchers, Slim World, Cambridge. Their numbers, are they're not declining massively, you know, well they are declining, but across the world they're, they still have a presence, but women will slowly move away from them because they're, they're at the moment they need to they need to adapt to the future as well Le there's less focus on sustainability there's less focus on permanency so people are going down that we demand personalization they want specialized solutions that focus on them as an individual not just this one problem and that means looking at things like mindfulness it means looking at things like recovery like we talked about before with the looking at ovarian cycles um and hormonal changes um, looking at weight, looking at esteem and looking at long term health with the goal being to find lasting success. Um, even I'm hearing it through the calls that we're having of people going, oh, I've done Slim World, I've done Weight Watchers, I'm still back in a worse position from where I started. Um, and people want more. People demand more. And that's the way that the industry is going. So it's all very interesting. I am completely in love with the technology aspect. I love it so much. Uh, and I wish I could show you the dashboard that I have for this. Because I, I used to wear a whip band and it told me everything and more. And it was almost too much information that it completely overwhelmed me. Um, so I moved into an order ring because it tracks steps as well. And I'm a step junkie. So anyway, that is our trends for 2022. So what are your thoughts? Pop your comments below. Um, let me see if I can pull up. I don't know if you heard my belly rumbling there. That was loud. Um, I'm just pulling up see what the comments and questions are because I can't see any on my phone and I decided to use my phone today because everybody was complaining that it was really glitchy on my laptop oh, fabulous oh, Sandra hi darling <laughs> fab okay it says 16 comments but I can only see four so I'm just assuming that everybody's happy and having good days um so yes yeah, so if you do have any questions on any of this it is you know, this is all trends. Some of this stuff is in the here and now, you know, um, the personalization, absolutely. The tracking, absolutely. It's just becoming, it's going to be more and more and more the norm, um, which is awesome. Absolutely awesome. So, my lovelies, any questions at all? Any statements? Any joyousness? I'm trying, I'm trying, I'm <laughs> looking. I'm cooking around my screen to see the other screen, which is where my laptop is. Um, okay, so I am going to finish up just now. The rest of this week. Oh, this week. So tonight I am life coaching extraordinaire in our client group. Um, tomorrow, Clara and I are doing a well delayed ask us anything at 20 past one um if you are around 
try and make it we're just going to be sitting on facebook live well we'll be in zoom but we'll be streaming live into the group so any questions at all it doesn't matter how daft it might seem or how silly or anything at all any questions i'm particularly open to mascara eyeliner and clara's very good with skincare questions i'm not so good at skincare um, and then on Friday, Clara and I are catching up for a bit of a business session overview on Friday lunchtime too. So it's all go, 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 go. But yes, here for you. If you have anything at all, you can ask us. Yay, Sandra's going to join us. Bring the puppy. He's probably not that little anymore, Sandra. Um, so I'm going to love you all and I'm going to leave you all. And I want to really thank every single person who read the post about the scholarship who submitted their information i don't say application but submitted their stuff <laughs> sounds bad for our scholarship it's been hugely inspiring i've been so motivated and it's just so lovely to be able to help people that might not have been able to come in and join us um and it just it's just amazing i love it love it so much um, oh, thank you, Claire. Claire has shared a photo of the order. Or I am not on commission for the ordering. Like, I don't, there is no affiliate, there probably is an affiliate link. Um, but I certainly, I've, I think I've had them all Fitbits, Garmin's, Whoop Bands, and this is the one that I have stuck with because it, I remember uh, I have a charging port that sits next to my desk. So I can charge it. It only takes half an hour to fully charge and. I don't just leave it at her. All right, my darlings. Tonight, what's for dinner tonight? <coughs> Savory minutes from the original Team EMW recipe pack. It's very tasty. Very tasty, although I think I probably have adapted the ingredients slightly from when I wrote it down in the recipe pack. Right. Take care, my darlings. I will see you all tomorrow at 20 past one for Ask Us Anything. Ask Us Questions. Anything goes. Um, it's going to be fun, it's going to be educational and inspirational. There we go, that's my tagline for tomorrow. Right, love you all dearly, thank you for joining me tonight and um, speak to you all soon. <laughs>